Okay, so we're going to show you how to um, press the seals onto your, your axle shaft now. We put a new U-joint in, um, as you can see, and we put a new outer shaft. Um, this customer's outer shaft was bad. Um, so the process for this would be for if you're going to press your vacuum seal on a full assembly. Um, we've set up our press here so we can stick it through. Okay, so we've got it set up here in the press on these blocks. Now if you're going to press your vacuum seal on this way, you got to make sure this U-joint is in there. Um, that U-joint gives it enough strength you know, in the holes where it goes through so that you're not going to bend these ears by pressing down on it. So we get it set up, you're going to put your vacuum seal on, Dana Spicer, and then we use this tool. It's, uh, it's made for this. It's part number 6695. Uh, we just got it on the internet. Um, we recommend always using this tool so you don't bend this seal. Pretty simple. You slide it over that, that outer shaft. And I always spin it like this, make sure that you're lined up so you don't have, you know, so you're, you're not cockeyed or have something crooked on there. And then we just have some spacers. And we use a bolt and another spacer just so we don't have to, you know, crank on the press and get it all the way down. It just makes it a little bit faster. You get those lined up. And just go slow. Make sure everything's pressing on right as it should. And the way this tool is designed, you go until it bottoms out. And I'll show you the design of the tool here. It's got this little ridge, if you can see that, and that that there is is for your thrust washer. So when you press, when you press, you know, down, this bottoms out on this surface of your shaft, and it leaves your seal just up a little bit. It leaves that recess there, so your thrust washer can sit in there. So now that we got the vacuum seal pressed on, uh, we'll move over to the vise, and we'll show you how to put on the dust seal. Okay, so we got the shaft. And we bring it over to the device, and I just clamp onto the the inner yoke here to hold it. Make sure it's pretty tight in there; it's not going to fall. And we get our dust seal. And you make sure you've, you've cleaned your shaft off a little bit because you got to run this all the way down. You, know, you don't want to be getting dirt and grime all over it. Pretty simple. You kind of just push it on by hand a little bit. Then you're going to grab a hammer and bend this over a little. And you just tap it on. Go back and forth. Side to side. until it bottoms out. And there you go. We've got our shaft here. We've got the seals pressed on, new U-joint. Uh, we're going to install it. Uh, before you install it, take a little bit of grease, like we have here. You're going to slide it through that inner tube seal. Put it here on your seal surface. You know, just a light coat as well as a little bit on your splines. And now, I guess before you do this, make sure these splines are really clean. Make sure there's no no grit, no rust, no anything on them. So you're gonna slide it down there and it's gonna go into your, in your gears and your differential. You don't want any grit in there. So we've cleaned out the tube really well. You can see it's it's clean, but as a precautionary, we have a piece of cardboard that we're going to slide down in here. And that's going to give you a buffer in between your shaft and whatever's on the bottom of your tube. Because it's hard to get that clean and it's hard to keep the weight of this shaft up off the bottom. So you put that cardboard in there and slide this in. 
Now you're getting close to that seal, so be very careful when you're pushing it in. It's gonna slide up and you might have to rotate it a little bit to get it to line up into the gears. Once you get it in far enough, pull this cardboard piece out. Yeah, that's why we use cardboard because it's you can get it out without pulling your shaft all the way out. You can just tear it and it bends. Okay, so we got that out. Finish sliding that in. Then you're ready to install your wheel hub. So one thing to to note, we have a lot of questions on this, is this dust seal here that you can see, this dust seal here, um, it's not a tight seal. It's not an, a watertight seal. It doesn't hold oil in. And what it does is it keeps, it helps keep stuff or debris from getting in that tube. Um, but you're still going to get some grit and you're still gonna get some water in there so that like I said this is not a tight sealed seal it just is kind of a, a dust and gravel shield 